you get a manager, is there, is there another manager I speak? I, nope, yeah, for, what, for what, what reason do I have to wait outside? I can't purchase my products. Well, I'm, I'm, not done yet. I'm not done shopping yet. I'm not done shopping. You go ahead and purchase your products and you're going to go. I'm not done shopping yet. Okay, well then I'm going to uh, call the police department. For what reason? So you got to call the police department. No, I'm asking you a simple question. I got like two mini bottles in my hand and you were following me around the whole store. Love it. Day after day, now after night, week after week. You know, I do got such thing as food stamps like every other American in the world. So, Mr. Tucky, can you ask me why you were taking pictures, taking pictures of me over there earlier? Am I accused of shoplifting you possibly? No. Nope, not accused of shoplifting you, Mr. this and he's taking pictures of me inside the uh, store. Interesting. Actually, it's really weird. Sir, I'm gonna ask you to turn that off. Or you You're taking pictures of me earlier, why are you about to turn it off? Yeah? I need security to self check out the. I haven't stolen anything. He doesn't think I stole anything either, so this is really ridiculous. So. Maybe labeling, you know what I mean? Discriminating, whatever you want to call it. But I ain't having it. So, yeah, that's good. How you doing? I thought she was good. What's up, man? How you doing, sir? Good, how are you? Ah, oh, that's too good. Sorry, I don't mean to put you on there, but you know, this is what it is. Ah, uh, no, that's the issue. He said that he said that he didn't think I was stealing anything. He just wanted me to leave because he thought he was being a jackass or I'm being a jackass or something. Not too sure the situation, you know. You can't give me a reason why I'm leaving. Why would so I have to? Why would I have to leave? Can I ask you that question? Why, why, why would I have to leave right now? I know we're fine. I'm just. I mean, this is a uh, called discrimination. Am I homeless? No, I'm not homeless. Oh, okay. You know, I uh, look this way, you know what I mean? Practice Buddhism and such forth, you know, there's no need to, you know, shampoo your hair every other day, you know? Once a week's fine. Appreciate it, bro. You have a good night. Hey, yeah, you too. So if you're uh, ever seen back on this uh, parking lot... You gotta give me a reason, valid reason. I've already dealt with the police multiple times about this situation. It happens to me everywhere I go. So, um, I have a YouTube channel, J-S-H-N-L-S-N-2368. Check it out, 100%, because there's like, I got Best Buy on here, I got Walgreens. I got over 4,000 views on the Walgreens one because they admitted on camera they don't care about their customers. Nice Mr. Tucker said on camera that I, he don't think I stole anything. And he's not accusing me of stealing anything. They kicked me out for no apparent reason. Maybe because I look homeless? Probably. Whether I was or not wasn't, it's, you know, it's called discrimination. You can't fucking do that. So. And he's going to call the police. I mean, this that third. For no reason. He can't admit to one reason that he's going to you gonna do keep me out of the store. I'm sorry. Dude. Just love the hippie, man. Just love him. Sorry. Wife's still in the shopping. Hey, bro, you got a cigarette, Dougie? No, I don't. It's all good. Thank you, though, man. Two stands by no cigarettes. Mm -hmm. Ladies got food stamps, came to pay for my groceries because he's following me around the whole store. Asked me if he's following me because he possibly thought I was stolen. It's still something. Yeah, nope. That's not what Nope. He was taking, trying to take pictures of me. Asked him what that was about. He had nothing to say about it. And then he started telling me, and he started tripping after I started, you know, taking pictures and filming him. And all of a sudden he's gonna threaten me with the police like he's got some kind of power over me because he can get the little name tag on his on his chest and shit. And he is the boss of that store. It shouldn't be that way. It should be like policy should be placed like the right fucking in, in line. And the manager should have nothing to say about anything really. There's no need for one actually.